Welcome to Fuerteventura, the jewel of the Canary Islands. This sun-soaked paradise boasts pristine white sand beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and stunning volcanic landscapes, perfect for adventure seekers, hikers, and relaxation. Fuerteventura offers world-class windsurfing, vibrant local culture, and breathtaking views. Explore charming coastal towns, savor delicious Canarian cuisine, and year-round sunshine. Watch this video to uncover the hidden gems and unforgettable experiences that make Fuerteventura a must-visit destination. First destination is Playa Chica, also known as La Concha. It is a serene and picturesque beach located, nestled in the charming town of El Cotillo on the island's northwest coast. Playa Chica is celebrated for its calm, shallow waters and fine white and golden sand. It is a perfect spot for families and those seeking a relaxing beach experience. The beach is sheltered by natural rock formations, creating a tranquil lagoon ideal for swimming and snorkeling. Its clear waters offer excellent visibility, allowing visitors to observe various marine life. The gentle waves also make it a popular spot for paddleboarding and kayaking. The nearby amenities, including quaint cafes, seafood restaurants, and local shops, complement player Shaika's laid-back atmosphere. The beach's westward-facing position provides stunning sunset views, making it an idyllic location for evening strolls. Next one is Calderon Hondo, which is one of Fuerteventura's most impressive volcanic features, located near the village of Lajares in the northern part of the island. This well-preserved volcanic crater offers a fascinating glimpse into the island's geological past. The crater itself is approximately 278 meters high and has a diameter of about 70 meters, creating a dramatic and picturesque landscape. A hike to the rim of Calderon Hondo is a popular activity, providing an accessible adventure for visitors of various fitness levels. The trail is well marked and relatively easy, making it suitable for families and casual hikers. Once at the top, hikers are rewarded with stunning panoramic views of the surrounding landscapes, including the neighboring volcanic cones and the vast arid plains of Fuerteventura. The sight of the Atlantic Ocean in the distance adds to the breathtaking scenery. Calderon Hondo also offers opportunities for wildlife spotting with various bird species often seen in the area. The unique volcanic terrain and the stark contrast between the red and black lava rocks create excellent photography opportunities. Exploring Calderon Hondo provides a unique and enriching experience, allowing visitors to connect with Fuerteventura's natural beauty and volcanic heritage. You can also visit Piedra Playa, also known as Playa del Algibe de la Cueva, which is a stunning beach located near the town of El Cotillo on Fuerteventura's northwest coast. This expansive beach is renowned for its golden sands, dramatic cliffs, and excellent surfing conditions. The beach stretches for about one kilometer offering plenty of space for visitors to find their own secluded spot. The powerful Atlantic waves make Piedra Playa a popular destination for surfers and kiteboarders, with consistent swells providing ideal conditions for both beginners and experienced riders. Several surf schools and rental shops in nearby El Cotillo cater to those looking to catch some waves. Piedra Playa is also a great spot for beachcombing, sunbathing and taking long walks along the shore. The surrounding cliffs add to the beach's rugged beauty, creating picturesque views and excellent photography opportunities. Despite its popularity among surfers, Piedra Playa remains relatively uncrowded, offering a peaceful and natural setting. However, it's important to note that there are no lifeguards on duty, and the strong currents can be dangerous, so caution is advised when swimming. As for the cost, visiting Piedra Playa is free making it an accessible destination for budget travelers. The nearby town of El Cotillo offers a range of accommodation options, from budget hostels to more upscale hotels, as well as restaurants and cafes where visitors can enjoy local Canarian cuisine. Overall, Piedra Playa is a must-visit for surf enthusiasts and nature lovers seeking a pristine and picturesque beach experience on Fuerteventura. Nearby is also Playa El Majanicho, a hidden gem located on the northern coast of Fuerteventura, 
near the small fishing village of Majanicho. This tranquil beach is known for its serene atmosphere, natural beauty, and excellent conditions for water sports. El Majanicho is characterized by its rocky coastline and small sheltered bay with calm, crystal clear waters. The beach's unique landscape with volcanic rocks and sandy patches creates a picturesque and rugged setting. The calm waters make it an ideal spot for snorkeling and swimming, especially for families and those looking for a peaceful swim away from the larger, more crowded beaches. The beach is also popular among surfers and paddleboarders, thanks to the consistent waves and favorable wind conditions. Windsurfing and kitesurfing are common activities here, with the steady trade winds providing perfect conditions for these sports. The beach is less crowded than other popular surfing spots on the island, offering a more laid-back experience for water sports enthusiasts. The nearby village of Majanicho adds to the charm of the area, with its traditional Canarian houses and tranquil ambience. While amenities are limited, the village's authentic feel and the beach's natural beauty make it a perfect escape for those looking to experience a more off-the-beaten-path destination. While there are no lifeguards or extensive facilities, its unspoiled nature and serene environment make it a worthwhile visit. For accommodation, the nearby towns of Coralejo and El Cotillo offer a range of options, from budget-friendly hostels to luxurious resorts. Overall, Playa El Majanicho is a must-visit for those seeking tranquility, natural beauty, and excellent water sports conditions in Fuerteventura. Moving north, we come to the next destination, Popcorn Beach, officially known as Playa del Bajo de la Burra, is one of Fuerteventura's most unique and intriguing beaches. Located near the town of Coralejo on the island's northern coast, this beach is famous for its unusual popcorn appearance. The distinctive look of Popcorn Beach comes from its shore, which is covered with small, white, coral-like algae fragments that resemble popcorn. These natural formations, known as rhodoliths, have been shaped by the ocean over time, creating a fascinating and photogenic landscape. Visitors often marvel at the striking contrast between the white popcorn and the black volcanic rocks scattered around the beach. While the beach's quirky appearance draws many tourists, Popcorn Beach also offers beautiful views of the Atlantic Ocean and the neighboring island of Lanzarote. The beach is relatively remote and lacks the typical amenities found at more developed beaches, making it a great spot for those seeking a more natural and tranquil environment. Due to the rugged coastline and strong currents, swimming is not recommended, but the area is perfect for a scenic walk, beachcombing, or simply relaxing and enjoying the unique scenery. It's also a popular spot for photographers and Instagram enthusiasts looking to capture its unusual beauty. Popcorn Beach is a must visit for those looking to experience something different and capture memorable photos of Fuerteventura's diverse coastal landscapes. Going east, you come to the dunes of Coralejo, located in the Coralejo Natural Park on Fuerteventura's northeastern coast, are a stunning natural wonder that draws visitors from around the world. Spanning over 2,600 hectares, this expansive area features an impressive landscape of rolling golden sand dunes, set against the backdrop of the turquoise Atlantic Ocean. The dunes, formed from finely ground shells and coral, stretch for miles, creating a desert-like environment that's perfect for exploration. Visitors can enjoy a variety of activities here, such as sandboarding, hiking, or simply wandering through the vast expanse of sand. The ever-changing patterns of the dunes make it a paradise for photographers, especially during sunrise and sunset, when the light casts dramatic shadows across the sand. In addition to the dunes, the Coralejo Natural Park also boasts beautiful beaches with crystal clear waters, ideal for swimming, snorkeling, and windsurfing. The beaches are known for their soft white sand and tranquil atmosphere, providing a perfect spot to relax and soak up the sun. The park is also home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including unique plant species adapted to the arid environment and various bird species that use the area as a migratory stopover. Easily accessible from the nearby town of Coralejo, the dunes of Coralejo offer a unique blend of natural beauty and recreational opportunities. Whether you're looking to explore the vast dunes, enjoy water sports, 
or simply take in the breathtaking scenery. The dunes of Coralejo are a must-visit destination in Fuerteventura. Going to the central part of the island, you come to Las Playitas, a charming coastal village located on the east coast of Fuerteventura. Known for its picturesque scenery, tranquil atmosphere, and active lifestyle offerings, it is a popular destination for both relaxation and adventure. The village itself is a traditional Canarian fishing village with whitewashed houses and narrow streets that lead down to a beautiful black sand beach. The beach is perfect for sunbathing, swimming, and enjoying the calm, clear waters of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a peaceful spot, often less crowded than the more touristy areas on the island. Las Playitas is also renowned for its sports and fitness facilities, making it a hotspot for active travelers. The village is home to the Playtes Resort, one of Europe's premier sports resorts. The resort offers a wide range of activities, including swimming, cycling, tennis, golf, and various fitness classes. It's a great place for both professional athletes and casual fitness enthusiasts to train and stay active. The surrounding area is ideal for outdoor activities. The nearby hills and coastal paths provide excellent hiking and biking opportunities, offering stunning views of the ocean and the rugged landscape. Water sports such as windsurfing, sailing and diving are also popular, taking advantage of the favorable conditions and rich marine life. In addition to its active offerings, Las Playitas maintains a laid-back, authentic vibe. Local restaurants serve delicious Canarian cuisine, with fresh seafood being a highlight. The village's peaceful ambience makes it an excellent place to unwind after a day of activities. Accommodation options in Las Playitas range from the all-inclusive sports resort to charming local guest houses, catering to different tastes and budgets. Overall, Las Playitas is a perfect blend of relaxation, traditional charm, and active lifestyle, making it a must-visit destination on Fuerteventura. In the central part of the island's west coast, you will also find a charming fishing village Ajui, known for its dramatic black sand beach and impressive sea caves. The beach offers a stunning contrast between its volcanic sands and the deep blue Atlantic Ocean, though its waters are often rough. You'll also notice several lime kilns on the way to the caves, a type of activity that has played an important role in the construction of traditional homes. The area once supplied Gran Canaria and Tenerife with lime until well into the 20th century. Ajui and its caves are shrouded in local legends and rumors. One popular tale suggests that the caves were once used by pirates to hide their treasure, fueling the imaginations of visitors exploring the dark recesses of the caverns. Another legend claims that the caves are connected to secret tunnels that stretch deep into the island, though no evidence has been found to support this. There are also stories about ghostly apparitions and mysterious sounds emanating from the caves at night, adding to their mystique. While these rumors are part of local folklore, they enhance the sense of adventure and mystery surrounding a visit to Ajui. Visiting Ajui and its caves is free. The village also offers a few local restaurants where visitors can savor traditional Canarian dishes, especially fresh seafood. Ajui is an ideal day trip destination, combining natural beauty, historical intrigue, and local charm. Moving slightly south, you will find La Pared, a picturesque coastal village located on the southwestern coast of Fuerteventura. Known for its rugged beauty and dramatic landscapes, La Pared offers a unique escape for nature lovers and adventure seekers. The village is famous for its striking cliffs and stunning sunsets, with the powerful Atlantic waves crashing against the shore. The beach, Playa de la Pared, features golden sands and is a popular spot for surfers due to its strong waves and consistent swells. While swimming can be challenging due to the rough waters, it's a perfect location for experienced surfers looking to catch some impressive waves. La Pared's serene and relatively undeveloped environment makes it an ideal spot for those seeking tranquility and natural beauty. The area is perfect for hiking and exploring, with numerous trails offering breathtaking views of the coastline and the rugged volcanic landscape. The cliffs provide excellent vantage points for photography, especially during sunset when the sky is painted with vibrant colors. The village itself is small and peaceful, with a few local restaurants and bars 
where visitors can enjoy traditional Canarian cuisine and fresh seafood. The relaxed atmosphere and friendly locals add to the charm of La Parade. For accommodation, options range from quaint guest houses to more luxurious villas, catering to different tastes and budgets. La Parade is easily accessible from other parts of Fuerteventura, making it a great day trip or a quiet getaway for a few days. Continue south, you will come to Costa Calma, a popular holiday destination known for its long stretches of golden sandy beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and serene atmosphere. This resort town offers a perfect blend of relaxation and activities, making it a favorite among families, couples, and water sports enthusiasts. The main beach of Costa Calma is Playa de Sotavento, which spans several kilometers and provides ample space for sunbathing, swimming, and beach games. The calm, shallow waters are ideal for families with children, while the steady winds attract windsurfers and kiteboarders from around the world. Several surf schools and rental shops in the area cater to beginners and experienced riders alike. Just a short drive south of Costa Calma is Risco del Paso, a stunning beach area known for its unique natural features and excellent conditions for water sports. Risco del Paso is part of the larger Playa de Sotavento and is characterized by its wide sandy shores, tranquil lagoons, and rolling sand dunes. The beach is particularly popular with windsurfers and kiteboarders due to its consistent wind conditions and shallow sheltered waters. Risco del Paso's picturesque landscape makes it a great spot for photography and leisurely walks along the shore. The lagoons formed by tidal changes create safe and warm swimming areas, perfect for families and those looking to relax in calm waters. The surrounding sand dunes and rugged terrain offer opportunities for hiking and exploring, providing stunning views of the coastline and the Atlantic Ocean. Costa Calma offer a range of amenities, including beachfront restaurants, bars and shops, ensuring visitors have everything they need for a comfortable stay. Accommodation options in Costa Calma range from budget-friendly hotels and apartments to luxurious resorts catering to various preferences and budgets. Moro Jabal is a last town located on the southern tip of Fuerteventura, known for its beautiful beaches, lively atmosphere, and diverse range of activities. Once a small fishing village, Moro Jabal has evolved into one of the island's major tourist hubs while retaining its traditional charm. The town is famous for its stunning beaches, including Playa de Jean Day and Playa del Matoral. Playa de Jean Day, the main beach, stretches for several kilometers with fine golden sand and clear blue waters. It's a perfect spot for swimming, sunbathing, and enjoying water sports like windsurfing and kiteboarding. Playa del Matoral, with its beautiful dunes and the iconic lighthouse at its end, offers a more tranquil setting for relaxation. Now we are moving to the unexplored Janda region, located on the southern tip of Fuerteventura. There are no good roads here, so drive carefully. There are various rumors and legends associated with the Janda region, particularly concerning a German engineer named Winter and allegations of a Nazi past. These stories suggest that during World War II, Fuerteventura was involved in secretive and controversial activities. Some claim that Winter, a German engineer, was linked to the construction of an airfield in the Janda region, which can be seen from the air, intended for military purposes. According to these rumors, the airfield was part of a larger network of facilities used for strategic operations even after the war ended. Additionally, there are tales of U-boats, German submarines, being stationed in or around the island as part of wartime activities. These stories often connect to the broader conspiracy theories about Nazi operations in the Canary Islands, which some believe were used as a strategic location during the war. While these rumors add an intriguing layer of mystery to the region, concrete evidence supporting these claims is limited. Most historical records focus on the island's more peaceful and tourist-friendly aspects. Nonetheless, these stories contribute to the rich tapestry of local lore and add an element of historical curiosity to the exploration of Fuerteventura's southern region. The Faro Punta de Jande, or Punta de Janda Lighthouse, is an iconic landmark located on the southern tip of Fuerteventura, perched atop a rugged rocky promontory. 
This lighthouse is a key navigation aid for ships traversing the waters around the Canary Islands. Built in 1985, the Faro Punta de Jond stands out with its striking white and red striped tower, which rises 55 meters above sea level. The lighthouse's location provides sweeping views of the surrounding coastline and the vast Atlantic Ocean, making it a popular spot for visitors seeking picturesque vistas and dramatic landscapes. The area around the lighthouse is characterized by its rugged terrain and natural beauty. The coastline features rocky outcrops and steep cliffs that offer panoramic views of the ocean, particularly stunning during sunset. The surrounding Jand, a natural park, enhances the site's appeal, with its diverse landscapes, including sand dunes, volcanic formations, and unique flora. While the lighthouse itself is not open to the public for tours, its exterior and the surrounding area can be explored. The site is accessible via a scenic drive from Moro Jabla, making it a popular stop for tourists and photographers. The Faro Punta de Jond serves not only as a functional navigational aid, but also as a symbol of the island's maritime history and natural beauty. Its prominent position and striking appearance make it a memorable landmark on Fuerteventura. Playa Cofet is often considered one of the most beautiful and remote beaches on Fuerteventura, renowned for its pristine, unspoiled landscape and dramatic scenery. Cofet was also a part of the images we see in Exodus, Gods and Kings movie. Playa Cofet is a vast golden sand beach, stretching for about 12 kilometers, backed by imposing volcanic mountains and bordered by the wild Atlantic Ocean. The beach's raw natural beauty and isolation make it a favorite among those seeking solitude and breathtaking views. The beach is known for its strong currents and powerful waves, which make it unsuitable for swimming, but ideal for long walks, beachcombing, and taking in the striking natural environment. The drive to play a coffet is an adventure in itself. The road is a rugged, unpaved track that winds through mountainous terrain, providing stunning views along the way. It's advisable to use a 4x4 vehicle for this journey and be prepared for a bumpy ride. In close proximity to Playa Cofet is the mysterious Villa Winter, a fascinating and enigmatic structure on a hill overlooking the beach. Built in the 1930s by German engineer Gustav Winter, Villa Winter is surrounded by intriguing stories and speculation. Some rumors suggest that the villa was used during World War II as a base for German U-boats or as a secret military outpost though concrete evidence to support these theories remains elusive. The villa's design and construction, which includes hidden bunkers and tunnels, fuel its air of mystery. The structure has a distinctive, somewhat foreboding appearance that adds to the sense of intrigue surrounding its history. Although it is not open to the public, the villa's presence adds a layer of historical enigma to the player Cofferty experience. Together, player Cofet and Villa Winter represent the last frontier of exploration on Fuerteventura, offering visitors a combination of stunning natural beauty and historical mystery that is both captivating and unforgettable.